Hi everybody, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today is day 12 of Vlogmas and in today's video I am going to be talking about the Korean TV shows that I have been watching. I posted maybe a couple months ago a one from the archives that I did for one of my Korean classes about the top five uh, TV shows that are dramas that I like and the list has grown since then. <laughs> definitely has grown. There definitely a lot of the ones that I mentioned on there are still some of my favorites. I've I rewatched them several times but one other one that is one of my favorites is Mr. Queen. I love watching that one. It is hysterical and definitely I recommend it if you can find it on either Netflix or if you subscribe to Vicky which is the platform that I'm mostly watching all of my Korean and TV shows on. And a lot of people would ask, why do you watch Korean and Chinese TV shows? I don't find American TV when it comes to drama based series. I don't find them entertaining at all. And I don't know why that is. I don't people a lot of my coworkers are like, you need to watch this. You need to I just I can't I sit down and try to watch them and I can't. I don't understand. I really don't. So I watch a lot of Korean and TV shows and I did learn Korean to be able to watch the Korean TV shows and be able to get up and do things. I am not fluent in Korean at all, but I can I can get by. Like there are moments where I'm doing other things while watching the TV shows and I can I'm picking out words here and there. I may not know the full translation of the sentence or what's being said, but I am able to pick out words and I do want to continue with my Korean language however the location that I was taking classes from I got to the highest level that they offered and they don't offer anymore so now I'm gonna have to like self-teach and everything so let's go ahead and talk about some of the TV shows that I've been watching that I've been able to keep track of for this year or not this year but for the last couple months so one of them is my lovely liar is one that I watched and it is about a woman who can't trust other people and because she can hear lies and things from other people's and from other people and she meets this person and she can she thinks that he is not able to lie so there's something about him that she can't hear if he's lying or not so um cute little story i it's a mystery romantic comedy and um it is it was aired july through september of this year and there are only 16 episodes i believe i watched it on vicky platform so there's one i re-watched goblin or guardian two different names but um i've re-watched that one many times it is one of the if you if anybody asks what TV what Korean TV show to watch that is always on everybody's list because it is one of those that is just iconic and <laughs> it's yeah it, it's it's just yeah it, it's it, it's one of those that you have to watch it to understand it <laughs> honestly you have to watch it to understand it um going flipping through I also rewatched Copy Prince, and I think that was because I <coughs> <coughs> I rewatched Copy Prince because I think that was because I was craving coffee at one point, and I just wanted to rewatch it because it had been about five years since I had watched it previously, so it was time to watch it again. And um, I went through trying to think. I'm trying to go through my Vicky thing to see what other ones I've watched. I've watched several. Um, another one that I recommend is What's Wrong with Secretary Kim. That's a cute one. Descendants of the Sun is another iconic one. Um, Strong Woman Do Bong Soon. Um, I like Suspicious Partner as well. Um, my Secret Romance, She Was Pretty. My Roommate is a Gumio. Um, Tale of the Nine-Tailed. 
Legend of the Blue Sea, W. The list goes on and on and on and on. I am currently re-watching My Love from the Star as well. Um, another one, just absolutely loved it. I re-watched Walk of Love as well. I That one, I just, so cute, so cute. Um, okay, so that is some of the Korean TV shows that I have been watching for the past couple months that I can recall. I also re-watched Mr. Queen. I think for the third time or fourth time or something like that. That is another one that has been added as my onto my favorite list. It is the first Korean show that I actually had my mom like wanting to watch every single episode. Uh, and I actually went to bed because I had watched it before. And she stayed up until like three, four o'clock in the morning and finished watching the entire series because she had to know what happened. So <laughs> that the fact that I actually got my mom hooked on something like that was interesting. So, but that's pretty much what I've been watching. And the reasons why I watched a lot of the Korean TV shows is because I just find them more entertaining than US TV shows. I do watch the paranormal stuff on Disney or Discovery Plus and I also watch all the like home and gardening house refreshes repairs all of that type of stuff because I also am interested in that type of stuff as well so I hope that everybody enjoyed this video I will be back tomorrow with another video and a little bit later I in the in the vlogmas schedule I will be posting a video about the Chinese TV shows that I have been watching lately and that is kind of interesting because I'm I more drawn to the fantasy on the Chinese TV shows. So that's kind of interesting. But I will be back tomorrow with another video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and see you tomorrow. Bye everybody.